CI-CD combines the practices of continuous integration and continuous delivery to allow DevOps teams to deliver code updates frequently, reliably, and quickly. CI-CD emphasizes automation throughout the development lifecycle, build, test, and deploy. By replacing the manual efforts of traditional development, code releases can happen more frequently and with less bugs and security vulnerabilities. At CrowdStrike, we focus on integrating security into the CI-CD pipeline. As part of the functionality of CrowdStrike's Falcon Cloud Workload Protection, customers have the ability to create verified image policies to ensure that only approved images are allowed to progress through the CI-CD pipeline and run in their hosts or Kubernetes clusters. Let's take a look at the steps involved in setting up the environment. In the first step, the developer commits the code to the repository. This triggers the pipeline. The repository contains the code to build the container, scan the image, install the Falcon sensor, and push the image to ECR. In step three, code build runs the code, but also scans it for vulnerabilities. If there are any vulnerabilities found in the image, code build sends the scanned report to the Falcon UI. If there are no vulnerabilities, code build publishes the image to ECR for deployment in production. The role of code pipeline in all of this is to automate the steps required to release the software changes continuously. Let's begin the demo. All the code is stored in the code commit web app repository. The web app repo has a collection of folders and build spec files. Build spec stands for build specification. A build spec is a collection of build commands and related settings in YAML format that code build uses to run a build. The app folder has a Docker file with the operating system and web application information. The CrowdStrike image scan folder has the code to scan the image. The sensor image import folder has the code to install the Falcon node sensor. The Falcon build spec file publishes the non-vulnerable image to the Elastic Container Registry ECR. Here we can see the Docker file with the operating system and web application information. In this case, the operating system is Ubuntu and web application is a web server, Tomcat. We can see the code to scan the image for vulnerabilities. The full project is available on the CrowdStrike GitHub. The scanning task includes pulling the container image and performing CrowdStrike's image assessment service. Here we can see the code to install the CrowdStrike Falcon node sensor. Here we can see the code which mentions that if the image has no vulnerabilities, to push the Docker image. Code build runs and compiles the code and scans for vulnerabilities. In scenario one, the web app build failed as the code had vulnerabilities. So code build will push the scan results to the Falcon UI. If you go to the Falcon UI, we can see the vulnerabilities that were found in the image. You can access this by going to Cloud Security, Kubernetes and Containers, Image Assessment, and Vulnerabilities. In scenario two, the web app build passed as the code had no vulnerabilities. If we open the web app project, we can see that the source provider is Code Pipeline. If we go into the build run, we can see that Code Pipeline is the initiator. Then we go to Code Pipeline. We can see the web app pipeline. Code pipeline shows all the steps involved, source, build, and deploy. The past image is published to ECR for deployment in production. The tighter the integration between security and the pipeline, the earlier threats can be identified and the more the speed of delivery can be accelerated. By seamlessly integrating with the AWS CI-CD pipeline, Falcon CWP allows DevOps to respond and remediate incidents even faster with the tool sets they have. 